I'm Rachel Joy Fi, and it's the end of 2017. And you know, it's been a year. It's been a full year. And even though I haven't made that many videos this year, I got favorites from this year. Favorites were still had. Memories were still made. Videos were not made. <laughs> but let's move right away to some of my favorites of 2017. So first and most importantly, let's talk about food. The thing that's always on my mind. Number one, gelato. Gelato. I had so much gelato this year and I miss it so much. Another kind of pretentious thing that I liked from this year was beef tartare. I'm classy now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Another thing I like is Chick-fil-A. Okay, classiness immediately revoked. But I just started going to Chick-fil-A like recently and it's so good. How have I not gone there before? I'd also like to give shout out to Perkins. Thank you for many, many late nights. Just so many pancakes. So many delicious pancakes. And finally, kebabs. Not like the stick kebabs, but like the sandwich kebabs. I love them so much. <laughs> I just look at pictures of kebabs I've eaten and I'm like, I just want that in my life immediately right now, all the time. <laughs> and next we're gonna talk about my favorite music stuff. And this is usually the biggest category because I just love music so much. <laughs> and so I'm gonna speed through this cause you really don't wanna hear me rambling for five minutes about all these, this music from 2017. So we got Ed Sheeran, his new album, so good. Dodie, another EP, so good. Lord, her new album. Amazing. Disaster piece. Disaster piece I've started listening to recently. So good. I've listened to so much instrumental music, but Disaster piece is so good. Imagine Dragons, their new album, Golden. The Killers making a comeback with their new album. Kesha, she's making a comeback with her new album. Lanny or Laney, so good. That's just all I listen to during NaNoWriMo. Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa. That came out of nowhere for me, but I loved it so much. Sarah Close, I saw her at VidCon Europe, which I'm gonna talk about later, and so I saw her there, and then I listened to her EP or album, I don't know which one it is, and it's so good! And you know, that was like my most listened to songs of this year on Spotify. And we got Radical Face. Radical Face, I need to listen to more, because they have like, you know, story arcs and complex and beautiful songs and ha. Oh, and my last one, my last music thing, is Griffin McElroy. <laughs> I need to say it without laughing. My last one is Griffin McElroy with his music on the Adventure Zone. Which leads me to my next category, which is podcasts. Because this year was the year of podcasts for me. <laughs> Do you ever have a thing where you know it's so good and it's so good and you know you're gonna obsess about it but then you kind of hold back you hold back you're like wait just just a second let let me be in control and then you dive into the thing that's what i did with, you know hamilton and just everything else and the mcelroy brothers <laughs> I dove into that ocean of content. Just in the last couple months, I started listening to their content and watching their content, and it's great. It's really great. Technically, I started listening to The Adventure Zone first, and then My Brother, My Brother, and Me, and then just all the other ones. <laughs> if you don't know the McElroy brothers, they have a million podcasts, they do cool stuff, and they're funny, and I like it. <laughs> Another one of their podcasts that I really like with Justin and Sydney McElroy is Sawbones. Ah, oh, I need to get through all the episodes. I just love Sawbones so much and Wonderful with Rachel and Griffin McElroy. It's so great and just so lovely. And then there's Schmanners with Travis and, oh no, oh no, Teresa McElroy. I'm sorry, I have to that podcast as much recently, but I'm gonna listen to it more. I just don't have enough time in the day to listen to all these podcasts. So yes, podcasts. I love podcasts. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. And you know, there's so many podcasts I want to listen to, and yet all I listen to is The Adventure Zone over and over and over.
Reversing back into music, I wanted to talk about just two songs quickly in particular that I loved this year. One of them is a song I forgot, but I'll look up. The first song is apparently my most played song of the year on Spotify, and that is Young and Menace by Fall Out Boy from their new Mania album, which hasn't come out yet, but I'm so excited for it, and I listen to Young and Menace so much, and it's good, and I like it. And the second song is from the queen, Carly Rae Jepsen herself, Cut to the Feeling, the summer hit we all didn't deserve, but we we got. Cut to the feeling is magical and I love it and yes. And kind of related, I got into a lot of musicals this year. The first of which being Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen is beautiful. It's made me cry so much. I could talk about Dear Evan Hansen for years. <laughs> Second is probably Fun Home, which I also love so much, and Waitress, which I also love. Sarah Bareilles. Yay. Some YouTubers that I loved this year were Dodie. I really got into watching Dodie's videos a lot more. It's great. Awesome. Oh, 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 yes, look at that, look at that. I also started watching Philip DeFranco and Philly D vlogs a lot more, which I love being informed and also having fun. <laughs> what is this voice? <laughs> In line with, you know, the McElroy Brothers content, I've been watching a lot of Polygon videos, specifically Monster Hunt- Monster Hunters? What? That's- that's not what the show is called. Monster Factory. I've been watching Monster Factory a lot. And... Low-key, haven't watched as much YouTube this year, but let's also just assume that just Dan and Phil are on this list because... I just watch way too much Dan and Phil. <laughs> okay, now for my favorite books of 2017. Hmm. Here's the thing. <laughs> so I maybe didn't read that much this year. Oops. I, here's a book. I haven't gotten to reading it yet. But it's Dodie's book and it looks really good. It's very pretty. But I haven't read that much this year. And I feel bad, so that's why I'm including this section, because I feel bad. But if this counts, I did NaNoWriMo this year, National Novel Writing Month. I wrote 50,000 words in a month. Well, there was a week I didn't write, but like, I wrote every other time and somehow still hit 50,000 words. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> Some movies that I loved this year were Wonder Woman. I loved Wonder Woman so much. I went in it like not expecting much, but I was blown mind. I also saw Dunkirk, which was phenomenal and so well done and the story and my phone's dropping and the story was beautiful and it was beautiful looking and it was so good. And also another film that I liked was Wonder Woman. I also saw It this year, which I hadn't seen the old movie and I just went along with friends, but I really liked it. I don't get scared, so it was a funny movie. <laughs> it was like the best non-comedy movie I've seen in a while. And another movie I liked was Wonder Woman. I loved Wonder Woman so much. So I'm adding a little mini section for video games because I just played with my sister Switch last night and I played Zelda Breath of the Wild and I know that's on everybody's list of favorites of this year, but Breath of the Wild is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Breath of the Wild is amazing. I don't play games that much. But it's so good. And now for just some general favorites of this year. One of them is Italy. Italy. You could tell oh, it's kind of hidden. It's a thing of Italy back there. I studied abroad in Italy for a couple months. That's crazy. That's a thing that happened. Yeah, but I adored Italy so much. I kind of chose it at random. Really? Because I didn't really know where I wanted to go. And Italy just kind of fit my major. And... I loved Italy. The food, people, the sights, everything. And when I was in Italy, I was able to go to VidCon Europe, which was so cool. It was the first time VidCon has ever been in Europe. And I got to meet such cool people like Grace Helbig and Rhett and Link and Swoozy and Dodie. And I got to see YouTubers. <laughs> it was unreal. Another thing that was my favorite of this year was I started playing d and <laughs> acting and playing with friends and having fun and making jokes and everything. The next thing, if you haven't guessed it, is the McElroys. I love the McElroys. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. The next thing is the tour of Mythicality, which I got to go to in Minneapolis with my family. It was beautiful and it was so well done. Like it felt personal, but also like it was a show. I loved it. The next thing is, you know, cutting all my hair. When the beginning of the year started, I had hair that looked like this. And now it looks like this. <laughs> Bit of a change. Bit of a change. This is a new favorite, but for Christmas I got this. And it may look like a regular briefcase, but this is a turntable. I can play records. It's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm so excited to buy a bunch of records. My thumb hurts. It, it, it slammed on my thumb. Also recently, I've started cross-stitching. Look at that. Look at that nerdy thing that I made. I started cross-stitching like this week and I love it. It's so fun. I don't know why I haven't done this before. It's amazing. Another favorite of this year was dogs. I saw a lot of dogs this year. Thank you, dogs. Keep up the good work for 2018. I'd also like to thank cats. Didn't see as many of you. I did go to a cat cafe somewhere in Italy and it was amazing. I was in heaven. <laughs> Ignore the clearance label, but I got some red velvet body spray and it smells so good and I love it. And finally, I would like to thank tea and coffee, which I, both of those things I really grew to enjoy this year. Thank you for being there. So I think that was all my favorites for 2017. It's been a long year. It's been, a lot has happened this year, but I am so looking forward to next year and all the new opportunities that will come along. I'm probably gonna graduate from college in 2018 if everything goes right, which is crazy to think about. Me graduated from college, but this year I got to go to Italy and I got to do other stuff. I can't remember. I did nano. I went to school. I had so many fun times with friends and family and <laughs> I had a wonderful 2017 and I hope that you did too and I hope that you have a great new year. Bye. This year I don't have a rolly chair, so it's not gonna be as dynamic. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I should have seen that coming.